it's Mark from Apprentice One to One. Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year to everybody. It's a, a new one, 2021. Let's hope for some better luck for everybody through the course of the next year. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. It makes a big difference and um, I'd really appreciate it. Um, I'm seeing plenty of people viewing. Um, most of you are subscribers, so please, if you can, take a minute and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. This morning, I've got a call out to a customer who's lost lighting. And I thought it'd be a good one to pop up on video. I don't know exactly what I'm walking into yet. I've actually popped into my office to do some recording on this test rig behind me. So I've just put that back together, actually. I had a couple of questions come through about um, carrying out certain tests. So we was just looking at those. I was actually going through a ring final test from start to finish. And that video should be out soon when I get five minutes to, to finish that one up. But I've got the kit ready to roll down here. So I'm going to chuck that in the van and shoot off to... Before I head up over there, it's always good to be um, calm and collected when you're going on faults. So this is a, a nervous elderly customer who's got no lights to a number of downstairs rooms. And it uh, sounds like they've got an RCB or consumer unit, so we should hopefully be in luck and be able to rectify it um, early on. As a, as a quick guess, before I even get started, I'm going to go for an outside light somewhere. It's usually what it is, and uh, that would be my prime suspect. But obviously we'll approach it logically and I'll film as much as I can and hopefully um, it'll be of some use to somebody. Uh, just a quick mention while I'm thinking about it actually, um, I'm actually, um, actually said that twice then didn't I? I'm a member of SparkSafe, so if you've never heard that I recommend you go and check it out. So it's the SparkSafe license to practice. Um, my own level, I'm actually an AQE, um, which is, um, I think it's the highest level they award and I was, I believe, one of the first in the UK to obtain that, so I'm pretty proud of that. If you've never heard of it before, go and check out SparkSafe. Um, they uh, assess your qualifications and your experience, and they'll grade you accordingly. Uh, it's a virtual card. I think it lasts three years. They have apprentice levels, uh, qualified electrician's level, and then the AQE level as well. I uh, highly recommend you go and take a look. It's, a, it's another bit of... Um, competency check-in that should take place throughout industry any, anyway in my eyes and I like to practice what I preach so I go on about this quite a lot that we uh, need to try and raise standards within the trade and if there's any organisation or group trying to do that I will always support them in any way I can and I'm proud to be a SparkSafe registered uh, AQE so go and have a look and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and uh, see you when I arrive on site. Hi welcome back to the channel it's Mark from PowerSonic happy new year to everybody I'm on a call out today for an elderly customer in the town I live in and um, I'm picking up the call outs this Saturday. So um, I'm out on the front line doing my bit, um, lots of light into a few ground floor rooms um, and obviously they need to get that back on ASAP so I've whipped out to come and try and make that happen. If you haven't please like and subscribe to the channel, uh, it makes a massive difference so if you could go ahead and do that I'd really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who's watching the videos. Uh, it's good to good to know that people are finding it semi-useful and interesting. But getting back to this, we've got a, an RCBO consumer unit and um, this circuit here that you can see that's, that's tripped um, has lost the lighting to the ground floor of the building. Uh, there's been quite a bit of bad weather in the area, so first suspects are always the outside lights. And um, I've been looking away at the front lights because that's where the primary circuits are that have been... Uh, lost, or sorry, the circuit that's been lost, the lights are all kind of in that area, and I've ignored the back ones. But I'll um, wander you around and show you exactly what the actual issue appears to be. Around again. So you can see here we've got this corner light, and that one is working. Um, but there is some interesting lighting as we get around here. So you can see here that cabling that runs along the top of the house there. And it ends up in these rather crusty looking um, boxes. And the actual culprit, I believe, is this. So it's typical that they've been collecting water. Okay, yes, I popped around this side and I managed to locate the issue. Um, you can see around the other way, there's um, some cabling on the wall there that's a bit uh, not clipped in the best way, shall we say and uh, you know it's showing signs of UV damage and everything else. This is actually an, uh, an L&E feed so it comes around over this side into a junction box that's tucked away under the eaves up there. You can see that it looks a bit crusty and then it splits, strips off from this over the top of this extension. 
to another junction box and then it runs off into the corner of that room to a switch and another lamp over there and is what's actually happened is these have um, filled with water where are they so these are filled with water and then this lamp in particular here you can see it's it's coated and crusty and horrible and it was um shorting out so you know obviously when i've done uh, a mega test at the board i knew straight away that we've had a, a line to earth fault that's what i was seeing um, so initial reaction is to go connect the lamps make sure you've got all of the accessories removed so you can ir test the circuit correctly and uh, yeah that's where it's led me and um, get it sorted out now the customer doesn't actually use these lights anymore so i'm just going to disconnect them and make sure we can get everything else back energized i'll jump back up Hi, so welcome back. I've closed that one out now. It was a it was a tricky one to record. The customer did give permission, but I wasn't comfortable recording too much because they were a little bit nervous about what's actually happened. They were worried to start with that they needed a rewire and assuming the worst. Um, they'd had a bit of a kerfuffle trying to get the lighting back on themselves that morning and um, didn't understand necessarily why, why it wouldn't reset. Um, so it's often a case of you've got to settle a client like that and, and make sure they are aware that the circuit protective device has done its job. It's, it's tripping for a reason and we need to find that fault and rectify it. I mean, that's the key aspect of being a good electrician that you can fault find. Um, and, and always, usually the best place to start is at the consumer unit. Uh, if you're lucky enough to have RCBOs, as I was in this case, uh, you're already onto a winner because you're on the right circuit straight away. Um, with it being a lighting circuit, obviously with lamps in place, you're not going to get much information from IR in between line and neutral, but certainly to earth, and immediately I'd see, I saw there was a dead shot there onto earth. Um, so we knew we were hunting for an earth fault somewhere, and it was a case of do we start with the light that she switched on when the power uh, were tripped off? I um, mean, that was the explanation I was given, but I actually think it had already tripped off overnight. Um, once I found the cause, um, or to go for the outside lights, that's typically what we do this time of year as electricians, how many of us get call outs because the outside lights have tripped off, uh, and on a split load board it can be a bit of a bloody nightmare because you're fishing around for a few circuits, um, but yeah, always start with an insulation resistance test at the board, that's a, a good tip for me, make sure you've um, isolated power, um, if you're not seeing a fault to earth, you could have a line of neutral fault, so you go around and take the lamps out, very common that a lamp can weld itself over, and um, give you a, a problem with a, a trip line to neutral. So take your lamps out, go around all of them and make sure you get them all, then do your IR test and see what's happening in that instance. Uh, obviously with this one, I've, I've gone for the outside lights first and I found moisture ingress to one of the fittings. The customer doesn't want the outside lights anymore. They hadn't used them for years anyway. Uh, it just happened to have had that moisture get in there to cause an issue uh, that particular evening and um, I assume it's between neutral and earth. Uh, I never actually I had it out with the cabling split. I didn't need to. So we've cleared the fault. I've t cut the cable off in the loft. I mean, you saw in the video, it runs down the side of the house um, to the junction box and then splits out to the lights. So I've actually cut that off inside the loft, made it safe in a junction box, and it's ready to go there if anybody wants to run some cabling out in some proper containment or use the right cable for the job and connect up some lighting again in the future. I've popped a little note inside the consume unit as well to explain that that's what I've done today and issued a certificate electronically as well. So we're all we're all good, we're all certified. I've done all of the appropriate tests, made sure the RCBO is still functioning correctly with its uh, RCD tests. Obviously it's um, been reset a few times under fault conditions, so you need to make sure it's operating correctly before you, before you leave it. Uh, customers happy with that job, I've reassured them again, they were panicking, they could need a rewire. Uh, so I've reassured them that's not the case and um, they're all good to go. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, they're happy with that now, which which is always nice. Happy, satisfied customer. Come out on a Saturday to get them sorted out. And uh, yeah, I hope some people maybe found that semi-interesting. Just popping a video up for the start of the new year, really. I um, hope everyone had a good Christmas and New Year. And I'll try and keep some different content coming. I've already recorded some um, back on the test rig. So we've got some examples of testing coming up soon. But this is a, a little example of what you'll find as a practicing electrician, really common, to come out and try and restore power after a, after a trip a customer can't resolve. And uh, yeah, start at the beginning with your consumer units, break your circuit down smaller if you need to. So obviously I was lucky in this case that I found it very early on with the outside lights. But if assuming that there was no issue there, you can start IR testing sections of the circuit um, at pendants or light fittings and uh, work your way around methodically. Don't just start ripping everything to pieces and... Um, 
causing madness and mayhem because it's you who has to put it all back together again. You're just making work for yourself. So keep calm, be methodical, um, note your results down that you're obtaining and um, take a second to pause and think here and there as well. Because sometimes when you're chasing faults out, your mind can run away with you and uh, your little legs start running around and your screwdrivers and pliers go into overdrive and before you know it, you've missed the obvious. So that's my little last top tip for you there. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm really enjoying doing these videos. I hope people are finding them beneficial and useful watching them. I'm going to keep the content coming, as I said. And uh, yeah, if I can help anyone in their, their aims, in what they're trying to achieve, if you have any questions or if you want any help on a particular topic or subject, get in touch with me. More than happy to do so. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.